Hi, I'm Tiffany Stone Woolbrick, planetarium lecturer at Ward Beecher Planetarium on the Youngstown State University campus. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you today discussing our virtual field trip options. While the planetarium does remain closed, we are committed to offering quality astronomy and science content to our community. And one way that we do that is through our virtual field trips. So if you're interested in getting started, the best place to look for more information is on our website at wbplanetarium.org. Under our four teachers tab, you'll see remote learning resources which is the page that we have developed a collection of resources, both content that the planetarium has created and content that we found externally that we think is really helpful and useful for teachers. The first button that you see here is would direct you to sign up to our weekly newsletter. This is for anyone who wants to keep up to date with the planetarium. We send out once a week um, any new content we've developed that week or any new news or exciting things that we found interesting uh, we'll include in this newsletter. So it's a convenient way to keep in touch and keep track with us. Below that is the button where you can request a virtual field trip with us. Clicking on our request a field trip button sends you to a request form where you fill out some basic information uh, and we can get a better idea of what kind of virtual field trip would be best for you and your group. We can offer a, a field trip anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. It can be a pre-recorded show, which might be better for a teacher to put into their lesson plan whenever it's convenient. Uh, or it could be a live interactive field trip where I would come to your virtual classroom, provide the field trip, and then answer questions from your students and, and further engage with them on the topic. We can also offer these virtual field trips in a huge variety of content areas. So of course, in a planetarium, we do focus on astronomy, but we really can talk about any science area. Uh, we can, there are shows we can do about history and art, the, the options are pretty fairly limitless. So whatever you're thinking, we can work with you to create the perfect virtual field trip just for you and your group. After you submit this form, the information goes to my email and I will follow up with you to make that field trip happen. And it's as simple as that. In addition to our virtual field trip options, we have a number of other resources. Just below on this same page, you can see that there are many planetarium shows that are being offered for free and they have been adapted for flat screen. So for our computer screens, it's easier to watch these planetarium shows. And some of these planetarium shows are really wonderful quality and really just do a fantastic job at covering the science topics in their shows. Um, so I, I do highly recommend looking through these as a teacher. Any additional materials or resources related to that show will also be included here. For example, our Ohio science standards. Uh, if there are any Ohio science standards that that show discusses, they are placed conveniently in a PDF document for you right there. If there are any additional activities, such as coloring sheets, those are also linked below the show for you to utilize in your classroom for your students. We have many, many show options, I think 13 in total. Below that are a few external resources that I have used and found helpful. For example, if you're designing a lesson plan about asteroids, this is a wonderful game for your students to play and enjoy and learn about asteroids. And finally, the planetarium has migrated all of their public programming online as well. So we have a number of really great online programming for the public that could be utilized as resources for teachers and, and for the classroom. 
For example, our really popular Keep Looking Up program. It's a Facebook live event that happens every other Saturday evening. We focus on an astronomy topic and we usually bring in, we try to bring in an expert in that field to answer questions from the audience and to engage in in-depth conversations. It's usually really fun, really great discussions. Uh, very popular program. I highly recommend it, especially if you have an astronomy enthusiast in your classroom. Starry story time. This is where we read children's books to you and your family. We learn about uh, an astronomer, an, an astronaut, or a planet in our solar system, whatever our, our book is that week. Out of this world news. This is where we discuss as the latest in astronomy news. So anything new that's happening up in the sky, any new space exploration or space technology that's being developed, we discuss that in our out of this world news program. Explore Science is a program where we learn about the world around us. We learn about different properties of science through basic experimentation, through at-home science experiments. So we develop really basic, simple but fun experiments using materials that you can find around your home. And the last program type that we offer for the public is Life of a Scientist. Each episode of this program we highlight a scientist and we focus on who they were as people. So not just their accomplishments, but also their struggles and their challenges. So those are just a few of the things that we're offering right now online. Uh, I hope that you found this informative. If you want to find out more, you are welcome to email me. My email is down below here. You can also follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We're very active on those social media channels, so please keep in touch with us. Uh, but other than that, remember to keep looking up.